um, when I started this project, you know, I wanted to do not just a project about poverty, but I wanted to do a project that when you looked at it, that you could maybe have an understanding of what it was like to be in somebody's place, in Julie's place. It took a while to, to get access to Julie and to her life. I appreciated that, though, because she was very cautious, and, um, and it's important to be cautious. Um, but when that wall finally comes down, like in 1995, the access was, was pretty much open. The only time where I felt that that possibly could change was when I went up and she was in hospice care at Aunt Rita's. You know, she's basically prepared for the end of life. She's dying. And I wasn't sure if she would want me to photograph her dying. We, we had never really had that discussion. Um, and I wasn't sure if I could do that, if I, if I emotionally was capable of doing that. And uh, when I walk in, she says to me, Darcy, you've been in my life the longest, and you can do whatever you want. So in some ways, you're very grateful for that. But in other ways, I felt this enormous weight because now she's telling me that I can do this. And now I have to, and I have to make sure I do it the best I can do it, which is a great responsibility. So the emotional toll, it's, it's an interesting question because I get asked that um, a lot. Um, and, and, and I often think that for me, I'm an observer. And as much as you know, I know Julie and her family over this very long period of time, 21 years, I'm not the one living through the story. There's probably more the idea of emotional abuse in the story that um, was the hardest to photograph and witness. Um, and you know, a lot of Jason, I never saw Jason physically hurt his daughter, Alyssa, but you know, there was a lot of yelling and screaming. Um, and you can't interfere. But what, what I would do is away from taking photographs, you know, we would talk and we would talk about how to be a parent and and and, and I would advise him to talk to, you know, um, Aunt Rita and Uncle Mike and try to instate a structure and and trying to figure out how to coach him better to interact with his daughter. In 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 the process of editing this story, you know, it's over 21 years. So the beginning, I'm definitely a different photographer, but I think the the one thing that has been constant, and, and I can honestly say that I still do today, is that I'm, I'm always trying to search for the image that I haven't made. I'm always trying to make a better image. And so, you know, you can look back at the beginning of this project and I can say, yes, it could have been better, but I can also look at the end and say the same thing.